one of the things that happened to Jamie in the courtroom is that um, the day of the day I testified, she sat ne next to Terry Nichols' mother, and you know, and and to me that was another tragedy that's that's rarely um, brought out is that. Here she was, she was, uh, you know, just your average grandma living her life. And then the next thing she knows, she's in this courtroom and she's having all of that anger poured out towards her son and towards her. And she was just absolutely devastated. And so Jamie was able to be with her and encourage her uh, because there was no one protecting her. That was the second trial that, you know, we attended uh, there in um, Colorado. And uh, I sat down by uh, Terry Nichols' mother. And uh, at the time, I didn't realize it, but one of the um, victim's advocates that, that's there to sort of really just kind of come comfort those that have come to testify and their families uh, came and, and did whisper in my ear and said, We'd probably like to move you. I'm, I'm sure you're unaware, but that is Terry Nichols' mother that you're actually sitting next to. And I just remember patting her hand off that she had laid on my shoulder and saying, I'm okay. No, I'm fine. I'm not going to move. And, and she said, are you sure? And I said, no, I, I really just leave me here. I'm okay. And, um, and so I introduced myself to Terry's mother and his sister was on the other side. And so I got to meet Terry Nichols' mother and sister. And um, it was interesting talking to both of them because Terry, Nich Terry Nichols' mother and, and uh, biological father had divorced when he was very, very young, like a uh, toddler, two or three years old. And Terry's mother had remarried and to a police officer, sort of in the... Uh, Midwestern, upper northern Midwestern, uh, and had resided there. So Terry's mother was used to being um, a wife of a policeman, and I think at one, some point he had become a, a chief of police. And so he was a lifetime cop, and um, so always had found herself on the side of what she felt was good and just and justice and and you know, worrying about her husband and, and for doing the right thing and protecting and serving his cause. And then to have her son involved and implicated in something like this was devastating to her. Um, she was just like, uh, she looked just like the average grandma, just gray hair, glasses, the sweetest lady. And his sister was kind, very kind. I remember her uh, just being very much of a comfort towards her mother. And she didn't have a lot to say on whether the sister didn't have a lot to say whether she thought Terry was guilty or not. But now Terry's mother was having a hard time processing that Terry could be a part of something like this. Um, she never came right out and just said to me that she thought Terry was completely innocent, but she was definitely of the mind that she just didn't believe that Terry, at the, at this point, you know, was really involved in how how was uh, maybe it was just because of the fact that he knew McVeigh, you know. But at the same time, she was also open to the fact that she was definitely already coming to the process of wondering was he guilty, was he indeed part of of this with McVeigh, and. Um, there was that openness. Without her saying that, she you could just tell that she was searching for the facts. Um, good woman. Uh, her and her daughter, both lovely ladies. And that's one of the greatest tragedies in this is that both Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols um, have families and, and their, their families are wonderful average people, you know, and uh, their actions, you know, really uh, kind of destroyed uh, in some way their families in the sense of with pain and grief over their actions. And um, 
So when Randy got up on the stand to testify just and he just, of course, he didn't have anything to place Terry there. He was, at this point, a witness uh, that was an impact witness. Um, you know, she sat there listening to Randy's story and was just riveted, uh, Terry's mother and sister. And they both were so kind and both reached over and patted me on the hand and the arm while... Um, he was testifying, so I found myself in a strange world of Alice in Wonderland of sitting with Terry Nichols' mother and sister, um, comforting me and me comforting them. And uh, no problem. Um, and uh, so I I found that strange that we were both trying to comfort each other, and so somewhere on the basis of humanity. It's these three women that are kind of sitting on the opposite sides of the fence, but yet on the same side, uh, because they want what's right, and they were brokenhearted over their loved one, over Terry. And they were broken to even think that he had a part in something so horrific. They, they really were. And in fact, uh, Terry's mom had told me, through the media scrutiny and you know the media came and pretty much camped out on their yard right after all that happened and Terry was arrested um, the stress was so great that her husband Terry's stepdad had a heart attack and passed away several months few months just a few months after that happened so their family was truly impacted as well I mean the grief that came to him with being a, a policeman his entire career and raising his stepson, I just it, and this all the media barrage. It was it was tough. It was tough on them.